Okay, here we're going to find the zeros and vertical asymptotes, if there are any, any zeros or any vertical asymptotes, of the function f of x equals 6x squared plus 7x plus 2 divided by 4x minus 4. So to find the zeros and to find the vertical asymptotes, the first thing I do for a rational function is I just start factoring. I factor the numerator and I factor the denominator. So the denominator looks easier to me. Right, there's a, uh, uh, we have a 4 in common, so we can factor out the 4. We would have x minus 1 left over. Again, if you distribute, we'll get 4x minus 4. The numerator, I think, well, you're a little trickier because uh, there's sort of some different, different ways that that might factor. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. So to get a positive 2, I'm going to need a 2 and a 1. Since the sign in the middle is positive, that's going to make both of them positive. But now I've got a choice. To get 6x squared, for example, I could use 3x and 2x, or I could use 6x and x. And then we have to distribute, and you know things can be a little, a little tricky here. So I'm kind of doing it by trial and error. I mean, it's not completely trial and error. Um, I'm kind of doing the arithmetic in my head. Let's see, does this work? Um, I don't think this works. No, I think it does work. Hey, right, if we distribute, We'll get 3 and 2, which will give us our 6x squared. 3x times positive 1, so let's see, we're getting 6x squared. We'll get a positive 3x. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 1 is 2. That's going to give us 6x squared plus 7x plus 2, and that's what we started with. So, all right, so that seems to, seems to be the correct factorization to me. Again, Factoring quadratics, especially when the coefficient on the x squared term is not a positive one, it can be a little laborious. So um, I think I got a little lucky here and just, just picked the right ones first. So, so we've got 3x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 1 in the numerator. Okay, so to find the zeros, first off, notice, notice that there's no common factors. There's, there's no factor in the numerator that's also in the denominator. So in this case, to find the zeros, I'm going to take the numerator, set it equal to 0. Then I'm going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So we have 3x plus 2 equals 0. We could subtract 2 from both sides. We would have 3x equals negative 2. And then divide by 3 to get x equals negative 2 thirds. Likewise, we have 2x plus 1 equals 0. Well, if we subtract 1 and then divide by 2, we'll get x equals negative 1 half. Those will be our zeros, x equals negative 2 thirds and x equals negative 1 half. Now, you have to be careful. If there had been a common factor, for example, you know, suppose that there was also a 2x plus 1 in the denominator. Well, if that happens, x equals negative 1 half wouldn't be a 0 because you would also get 0 in the denominator. Again, if there had been 2x plus 1 in the denominator as well, you would also get a 0 in the denominator at x equals negative 1 half, and then it would be undefined. So that's why I'm commenting on the fact that there are no, no common factors. Okay, So it's not something that you, you can just sort of pass over. But in this case, we don't have common factors. So I can just set the numerator equal to 0 to get the zeros. And likewise, to get the vertical asymptotes, all I have to do is take the denominator and, again, just set it equal to 0. So you can divide by 4. Again, that'll just leave us with x minus 1 equals 0. We can add 1 to both sides. That'll give us x equals 1. So that's going to be our vertical asymptote. So, again, I made the remark in a previous example that vertical asymptotes occur when you get 0 in the denominator and not 0 in the numerator. But again, since there's no common factors, I know that if I put 1 into the de denominator, well, I'll get 0. But I definitely won't get 0 in the numerator. I don't even have to do the arithmetic, uh, again, since there's no common factors. So in this case, we found zeros at negative 2 thirds and negative 1 half. And our vertical asymptote was at x equals 1.